Today, the New Orleans Saints broke the bank for all-pro right tackle Ryan Ramchek. Even though he's a stupid badger, he initially started at the Winona State University, the Harvard of the Midwest. Look it up. But Schefter, go. Saints offensive tackle Ryan Ramchek is signing a five-year $90 million extension that includes $60 million guaranteed and makes him the new highest-paid right tackle in football, sources tell ESPN. Ramchek was heading to this fifth-year option. But, of course, as Vikings fans, if you're like me, a raging narcissist, what does this mean about me? What does this mean about us? Notably, how will this affect a right tackle Brian O'Neill, who is heading to the final year of his four-year rookie contract? Remember, no fifth-year options for uh, second-round picks, so the Vikings will either have to extend O'Neill now or next offseason or franchise tag him or whatever. Either way, do not let him go. O'Neill talked about his contract status at OTAs. Courtney Cronin, go. Brian O'Neill says he's trying to be respectful of the process between his agent and Vikings regarding a contract extension, but nothing would make me happier than to be here long-term. He says he wants to be here and be a Viking for a long time. Last year, O'Neill only allowed 28 pressures, 11th best in the NFL uh, for right tackles, 3 sacks, and 4.3% pressure rate. Also, his 83.7 PFF run blocking grade was 3rd best in the NFL amongst right tackles. He's a Vikings best lineman, and he's quickly becoming one of the best right tackles in the game. Now, if he can just get some consistency at that right guard spot, notably why Davis, no matter what, uh, he could go to the moon. So, how does the Ramchick extension affect O'Neill? Well, it, uh, O'Neill obviously was going to make more than Ramchick at this stage of the game unless he uh, uh, skews an extension this year, has a phenomenal 2021 season, then maybe, maybe. But it could definitely bump up his salary if they get something done right now up a few million bucks. Also, if you include Ramchek's fifth-year option, he eclipses the $19 million per year mark. And for years, the Lane Johnson $18 million per year for right tackle was seen as an absolute anomaly. Just the Eagles overpaid, and it was treated as such. Like, the market didn't really factor it in. But now, there's precedent for a guy beating that number. Uh, and then you have Jack Conklin of the Browns, who went to them last offseason free agency from the Tennessee Titans, checking in at $14 million per. You have Taylor Moten, row the boat! at $13.754 million on the franchise tag. And they got Lyle Collins and Brian Balaga at $10 million per year. I the Vikings, if they extend O'Neal this offseason, which they should, uh, he will land in the top five, but uh, you know, ahead of Collins and Balaga at $10 million per. But the question is, by how much more? How much? And the Vikings have around $14 million in cap space by, after redoing Daniela Hunter's deal. Plus, if they extend O'Neal, the only in new incoming cap hit for 2021 would be the proration of a signing bonus. But I do think that the new precedent of the Ram check extension could bump him up a couple million bucks, maybe going from 10 5 per year to 11 5 per year, somewhere in that neighborhood. But I think that's where he's going to land. If the Vikings get something done with Brian O'Neal, there will be a little bit of a hometown discount since they're doing it a year early. He does seem motivated to stay here. He, he doesn't... Uh, we, we've got no inclination from O'Neal at all that he would take it to the mat and just try to get to open market no matter what. If they take care of him, get a deal done, I think he will land in that top five-ish area. Uh, but this ramp check deal just bumps it up a little bit. Now, hopefully they get it done before McGlinchey gets paid because then it could be just a little bit more. There's a little bit more there. But uh, your thoughts. How does the Ryan Ramchick extension affect Brian O'Neill? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more that work, post some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.